Issues get into a bus accident after the first stop of the American Dream Tour. Comeback Kid finally come out with a new song after four years. Memphis Mayfire released a track off their upcoming album. Brand new announced a U.S. summer tour and I Take You on a tour of NAMM. This is your APTV News for February 8th. How's it going everybody? I'm Nick Major, APTV Los Angeles correspondent and in our top news this week, Issues, who are currently on the American Dream Tour with Bring Me the Horizon of Mice and Men and Let Live, were involved in a bus accident following the first stop of the tour. Frontman Tyler Cartel tweeted, was just woken up by our bus driver and asked if we were all okay because apparently we wrecked. Not sure how, but we are safe and felt nothing. The band hasn't announced any show cancellations after the accident and are expected to play the remainder of the tour. Fearless Records have announced the track list for Punk Goes 90s, which will be out on April 1st. The compilation includes Get Scared performing Lit's My Own Worst Enemy, Asking Alexandria doing Nine Inch Nails Closer, and Ice Nine Kills is taking on Green Day's Good Riddance, Time of Your Life. A few other artists doing covers are Falling in Reverse, May Day Parade, Hands Like Houses, and The Ghost Inside, to name a few. In new releases after four long years and in an alternative press exclusive, Comeback Hit have finally released a new song called Should Know Better off their upcoming album Die Knowing, which will be out on March 4th through Victory Records. The guys are currently touring the states with Backtrack, Downpressor, and Zabalba until the end of March, and then they'll be heading to Europe with Zabalba and The Greenery. Memphis Mayfire's new album Unconditional will be out on March 25th through Rise Records, and the band just released the track No Ordinary Love off the upcoming album. Frontman Matty Mullins is featured on the cover of our most anticipated music in 2014 issue, and the band will be touring with The Word Alive, A Skylit Drive, Hands Like Houses, and Beartooth across the U.S. starting February 21st. Crown the Empire have posted a short video clip of vocalist Andrew Velasquez and David Escamilla singing a new song off their upcoming album. While no song title was given, the band entered the studio in January with producer Joey Sturges to record their second full-length album and follow up to 2012's The Fallout, which was recently re-released as a deluxe edition. You can also catch Crown the Empire all summer long on the Vans Warped Tour. In tour news, Brand New announced a week-long summer tour in the U.S. starting on July 5th in St. Louis, Missouri and ending on July 13th in Silver Spring, Maryland. Pre-sale tickets sold out fast and public tickets are now available, but get yours soon because like the pre-sales, they'll sell out before too long. In a recent Facebook post, the band said they'll be announcing more U.S. tour dates in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. In video news, Mindless Self-Indulgence have released an anime music video for their new single, Fuck Machine, off their 2013 album, How I Learned to Stop Giving a Shit and Love Mindless Self-Indulgence. The video showcases the band's vision of an intro to a Mindless Self-Indulgence cartoon, if one were to exist. And be sure to check them out on their U.S. Spring Tour because the band recently said, after the USA Tour run in March, we are taking a hiatus from touring, so if you want to see us, you better get tickets now. You can have the sex with me. Panic at the Disco frontman Brendan Urie recently sat down with APTV to talk about his musical roots and the instruments he grew up playing and even showed off his skills by playing through their song This Is Gospel on the drums, bass, and guitar. Panic are about to wrap up their Too Weird to Live and Too Rare to Die tour in the States before heading over to Europe and their show last night at the Tabernacle in Atlanta had to be quickly evacuated after the floor began cracking. Fortunately, there were no reports of injuries and the band planned to reschedule another Atlanta show soon. A few weeks ago, I headed to NAMM and chatted with some awesome people, including Trey Cool from Green Day and Mike Fuentes of Pierce the Veil. So be sure to check that out, as well as the AP After Hour Party, where we caught up with Memphis Mayfire's Maddie Mullins and a bunch of other cool people. And that's your AP TV news for this week. And don't forget to head over to altpress.com for more on these and other stories. And be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Keep up to date with our latest videos. Once again, I'm Nick Major. See you next time.